Hi guys, Mike here from Comp3 Interactive. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I just wanted to revisit one of my old tutorials. Well, it's, it's more of a tip than a tutorial, really. And that is how to create your own custom default scripts. Now, if you're like me, whenever you create a new c -sharp script, we'll just leave that as a new behavior script. Whenever you open it up, more often than not, you're going to remove update and start or even just remove these comments. Now that's not a big deal but it can get quite annoying having to do it for every new script that you create. So the idea behind the original tutorial was to show you how to create your own default scripts and that original tutorial does still hold up, it works. But in that method, you had to go through your actual editor folder, you had to amend or create new default scripts inside of a protected folder which required admin rights, all sorts of stuff. This way, it's going to be a lot easier, a lot neater and a lot tidier. So we could just get rid of uh, comments from this script, but I want to actually show you something slightly more useful. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete that. And what we're going to create, we're going to create a template for a new scriptable object base. This is something that I've no idea why Unity hasn't actually implemented already, because it's relatively simple. But it just saves that little bit of time whenever you're creating a new scriptable object. You don't have to create a C-sharp script and then completely butcher its insides. So let's start. The first thing we want to do, we want to open up our project, right-click and create a new folder, which has to be called script templates. Now it has to be called that because now like the editor folder and the parent assets folder, script templates is a reserved folder name for the Unity engine. Now inside this we need to create a text file. So if we just navigate over to our assets folder inside the explorer, we can go into script templates and we can create a new text document. Now I'm going to do this inside of Notepad++ but you can use any text editor for this. Next comes the name. Now the name has to be in a specific format because Unity reads the file name and then it bases its folder structure on whatever you've called it. So the first part is a numeric value and that is the priority order in which this will actually show up inside your menu when you right click. So I'm just going to put this right at the very top. So I'm going to put in 0, 1. Next we want a dash, followed by either your script's name or a folder. Now I'm going to do folders and then put a couple of scripts inside. So I'm going to call my folder custom script templates. Now you can call that whatever you like. Next, to make sure that we actually put our scripts inside that folder, we need to do a double underscore. So that's two underscores. Next, we can actually give a name to our new script. So I'm going to put this as new scriptable object. And then finally, one more dash. And this is going to be the default name when you create a new scriptable object. So like the default mono behavior is new mono behavior. I'm going to follow suit and new scriptable object. We want it to be a C sharp file. So we do .cs. But this file itself is a text file, so we'll actually add the file extension .txt at the end. So we'll just go over that again really quickly. So we've got 01, which is our priority, number 1 meaning it's going to appear right at the very top, dash, custom script templates, that's our folder name, double underscore, which separates the folder from anything inside it, so you could have subfolders or just go straight into the script templates themselves. Then we've got the menu name, which is new scriptable object, dash, new scriptable object, dot cs, which is the file name, dot txt, which is our files extension. So if we open this up, we see it's completely empty. And what we actually want to do in here, we want to create a template for a scriptable object. So this is going to be designed in just the same way that you'd usually create your standard scriptable objects. So you could do this in Visual Studio, you could even just copy out the original and replace a few things, but I'm just going to write it again from scratch here really quickly. So the first thing we're obviously going to need using Unity Engine. Next we'll have a public class, 
which we want to be named exactly the same as our file name. And the way that we can do this, we can do a hash, and then in all capitals, we can put script name and then finish it off with another hash. So that's going to read the file name and use that string in place of that script name tag so we don't have to bother doing that ourselves when we've created a new one. And then because we're doing a scriptable object, we want to inherit from scriptable object. And then the one final thing that we can do, we can add in, in between uh, uh, curly brackets there, another tag, which is no trim. And what that's going to do, that's just going to make sure that these curly brackets stay with an empty gap in between, and then we're just ready to carry on with our coding. And actually, the final thing that we need to do is actually do the create asset menu. So in our square brackets, we'll do create asset menu, open bracket, file name equals new, and we'll use our script name again, followed by menu name equals and this is where we want this scriptable object to be generatable from. So in this, I'm just going to call it my assets slash. And then again, I'm going to use that script name tag. Remember to close off your bracket and your square bracket. Now we can save that. We should see that it's popped up in Unity inside of our scripts template. And currently we're not going to see anything because we need to restart the editor. So I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll show you exactly what this has done. So now we have Unity back open. So if we right click uh, Assets folder or anywhere for that matter, hover over Create, we now have a Custom Scripts Templates folder and New Scriptable Object. So if we go ahead and click that, I'm just going to call this Weapon for example, and then open this up in Visual Studio we can see that we've automatically generated a scriptable object base class which will create new weapons called new weapon under my assets weapon. So just to show you that this is working, I'll put a public string weapon name in there. We'll open up Unity again and then we should just be able to create this my assets weapon like any other scriptable object. And this isn't the only template you can have, you can have as many as you like. And I did create uh, five or six templates that I use quite regularly. Uh, they're already on GitHub, I'll put a link in the description for those. But yeah, I just thought I'd update my older tutorial just because I've found out this new way of doing it. In my opinion, it's a lot cleaner and a lot nicer. And what's good about it is you can just copy this scripts template folder out of your project and whenever you create a new one, drag and drop a copy of it back in and you'll automatically have all of your custom scripts wherever you need them. So I hope this has been helpful for you. I hope you get some use out of this. So with that being said, I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more bites as Unity hints and tips.